Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. In the last episode, we dealt with Felmore. We had to kill Sindanwe because she had 750 gold, and I'm sorry, Darvesh is just not going to let that pass, especially in a shithole town in a random area of the Shivering Isles, which eventually he will vacate. So, Sindanwe lies dead on the floor, and she had a copy of her notebook, which is quite odd. And I just wanted to take a look to see if she had anything of importance, because I saw some glittering baubles, but they're just the crystal ball and the hourglass. So I don't think she actually has anything of importance or interest in her house. What are these things? Looks like it's just the pod pits. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not really sure what the significance of this quest was. And maybe you got... Oh, look at that. Oh, she talks about order being orderly. Um, and look at this. There's the same exact ingredients here as there is in this one and the same exact number of said ingredients that's quite interesting black tar oh maybe that's the thing maybe huh is that the case one two three four maybe there's the exact same number of every item in this in this house like for instance right here we have a crystal ball and an hourglass up there we have a crystal ball and an hourglass i wonder if that's the case huh but anyways, I'm not really sure what the significance of this quest is. Um, it's clear that Ranar Joe has paranoia. Uh, even when he reads the book of Sindanwe, uh, he thinks that she's out to kill them, which I believe there was nothing saying that in the book. So I think this is just to illustrate, you know, some level of paranoia. But we've already seen characters with a level of paranoia. You want to have a go, mate? Come on, mate. Bring it then. I always forget that's the soul-capturing noise because I usually don't capture too many souls in Oblivion. And then I always go like, what is that? Okay, so before we leave, let's just talk to them and make sure they have no more dialogue. So, Rainer Joe has clear paranoia, right? But the other cat, Kishinwa or whatever her name was... It looks to me like she has delusions of grandeur. So, like, every NPC in the Shivering Isles usually has some mental sickness that you can pretty easily diagnose. And I believe, uh, yeah, the, the, the female kitty has delusions of grandeur because believes, she believes that she's a queen and the true ruler of the Shivering Isles, which obviously is not the case. So we are done with Felmore. Um, like I said, every little town in the Shivering Isles pretty much has its own little quest. Uh, this is one of the more boring ones, in all honesty. There's uh, far better towns with far better, more interesting quests to complete, which we will, of course. Look at our little burnt Cheeto. He's done so much so far, and he's not a nice kitty. No, you are not, but you're a strong kitty. You're getting, a sh you're getting to become a strong, fast kitty. Look at that, uh, look at that quiver. It's the Madness Quiver. It's cool that they would make unique quivers based on the type of arrows that you're using. Okay, let's switch gears, ladies and gentlemen, to something entirely different. We have Understanding Madness. I need to speak to the Duke of Mania and the Duchess of Dementia, as Shiagorath wishes for me to better understand the inner workings of his realm. So we have a choice on our hands here. We can choose to talk to Lady Syl which is the Dementia side, or we can do Phaedon, who is the Addiction side. Since we just did a Dementia quest, let's start with Addiction. I need to speak with Phaedon in order to learn more about the Realm of Mania. So let's head to New Chioth Palace, and it's going to have me travel to the section that links to Mania, and we will meet this Phaedon. You can inquire based on who these people are supposed to be, right? The Duchess of Dementia. You can probably inquire on what her nature is going to be. And also, the Duke of Mania. You can guess how he's going to be as well. But there he is. You haven't waited long at all. You've been waiting a long time. You've been waiting for forever. You don't care.
light armor. Also, I'm a cat. What is this chalice of reversal? I like how sometimes our character just knows what he's talking about, even though he didn't actually say chalice of reversal. No, I haven't. I was just ruminating on that fact. Who? What happened? Phaedon has asked that I retrieve for him the Chalice of Reversal. I need to find someone in his court, or in Sills, who knows where it might be. No, not at all. You sound like an addict, and it makes me wonder why this quest is called Addiction. And we will see, won't we? Bye. Okay, so we need to talk to somebody in Thadon's court, or... I don't think the guards are going to work, but they might. Thank you. Oh, Chalice of Reversal? That didn't help me at all, but thank you. I will go. So I don't think this place is off limits. Oh, Halcyon Conservatory. It's not off limits. What is this? The Halcyon Conservatory. Ah. Okay. Hi. Chalice of Reversal? There we go. Yeah, and dragons are in Skyrim. Goodbye. Okay, so we're looking for somebody named Wide Eye. If we wait in Thadon's court, they might appear. I'm not sure what time it is right now. Wow, they both walked up to each other and both said, Speak, sister. Make up your minds. Ooh! 
Okay, so what time is it? 5.27 p.m. Uh, again, I'm not sure what the time cycles are for the NPCs in the Shivering Isles. It seems like the Mania people are night owls, which would make sense. You know, they want to revel, they want to party at night. That looks like wide-eye to me. I'll remember that. Don't make me persuade you then. Tell me about the Chalice of Reversal. So, before, when we were trying to find the potion for Sickly Bernice, I said that I remember this being super long. I think I got it confused with this place, with Dunroot Burrow. Tell me more about Feldu. Wow, you are the epitome of loyalty. Oh, she can tell us more about it, though. How about Dunroot Burrow? I doubt that, but we'll see. How about the Chalice of Reversal again? Yes, but I crave grayed out dialogue options. It makes me feel good. So we can try to persuade her to uh, tell us more about Feldu, and I think we will. Okay. Um, yeah, again, we'll try like two bribery attempts, and then I suppose we'll just... Or we'll, we'll try two... Whoa! What is that? What does that mean? That happened when I was recording a podcast as well. Uh, usually, again, for anybody that, that wants to know what that sound was, um, my recording software is linked to my Twitch software. So when I live stream, I have little notifications when people donate or follow or subscribe or all that good stuff. And I don't know what that little that little noise is because I've replaced all the standard noises. And that's the standard noise when you don't you know customize it. So I have no idea why that sounds. It's so odd. I'll have to look into that after this recording. Anyways, let's, uh, yeah, let's try to persuade her twice and then we'll bribe her. So what do you like? You really like joke. You hate boast. And then, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, coerce and admire. So let's go for this and then that. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Let's do that again. Again, see, I've already forgotten which one's what. I am so bad with, like, rapid-fire memory. It's terrible. Okay. Um, let's see. She hates this, right? And then she loves this. And then she likes that. Okay, that was pretty good, too. Okay, now let's bribe her up to 70.
Yeah, okay. I figured you were going to tell me as much. Obviously, I've played this game before, so I know exactly what fell do is going to fell do. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Um, but yeah, so I guess she's telling us that, you know, we're, we're going to be poisoned, and they didn't really tell us that before. Goodbye. Okay, let's go get us some Feldu, shall we? Yeah, I think it's this one. I think it's actually this one. This is a really unique quest, as you will see in a second here. Uh, let's take a look at where we need to go. Wide Eye has told me that the Chalice of Reversal is locked away in Dunroot Burrow. I'll need to ingest Feldu to enter the burrow and pass through to reach the Chalice. Here it is. Let's travel to Bliss, and we'll make our way from there. Just to expand a little bit while we're traveling over there on what I was talking about. Yeah, so I live stream on Twitch. If you haven't watched, you're missing out, I promise you. I think um, lately especially, I've gotten into a groove of really enjoying the streams and really creating quality streams, in my opinion. You know, I could be wrong, but uh, I don't think I am. Um, lately, especially. But when you live stream on Twitch, most people set up a little notification system through a third-party website, usually through a website called Streamlabs, which was formerly... I don't remember what they were called before, but they were called something for the longest time. And you can set up a notif- Oh my gosh, look at this mountain. Why? Every time, man. Every time. I just want to get across. Okay, maybe we can. Uh, yeah, you can set up notifications. People usually do for, uh, for instance, if another streamer hosts you and is, like, showing your stream on their stream. Uh, if somebody follows your stream, which is free. If someone subscribes, which is not free, but it supports the streamer. What is this obelisk here? Oh, it's a statue. Interesting. Um, what am I missing? If somebody donates, there's a level up. Excellent. Can we get up here? Give me that groove. Give me that groove. Give me that groove. Come on. Ah, oh, so close. Okay, this is going to be our biggest Bethesda scaling challenge yet. Excuse me. If you want to die, you'll die. Yeah, and now your soul is mine. So really, you know, uh, in retrospect, what was the goal there? Okay, we can do this, ladies and gents. I have scaled many a mountain in the Elder Scrolls games. I wonder if there's anything at the top of this. Anyways, um, I've customized each sound uh, for my stream particularly. You know, you can replace the the music that plays, the little notifications that play, um, with whatever you want, really. And I've done games that I'm fond of. For instance, Chrono Trigger. I've done little Chrono Trigger sprites whenever somebody follows or does anything else. And, you know, like Chrono will be pumping his fist. Uh, so, I don't know what that noise is. That is the... Well, I know what that noise is. That is the standard noise when you are... Currently silenced. I forgot silence was even a thing in this game because I never use magic. Um, yeah, that, that's like the default sound. So, I'm not sure why that plays because someone's, someone's doing something. But it's not bits, it's not hosting me, it's not following me, it's not subscribing, because all of those have predetermined sounds that I've created. So I, I don't know why that is happening. I'll have to check my, um... Okay, we need to actually kill an Elytra here. There's no soul gem. Yeah, sure. And the Elytra should have Feldu, which gives us the Feldu effect. So let's take that. And what we were doing with Sickly Bernice, I'm actually going to do this time around. I'm going to run through this dungeon as quickly as humanly possible. Not to try to just blaze through it, although in part to do that. But just literally to see how fast I can do it. Because I've done it so many times. And, you know, uh, Oblivion's pretty easy to maneuver. You just go to where the, you know, it's telling you to go, obviously. So let's see Feldu. I've taken Feldu in order to enter Dunroot Burrow. I should have to be... I shall have to be careful as I proceed through the burrow. So what's going to happen here um, is that when this effect wears off, in fact, let's see, does it show, it probably just says like the Feldu effect. Oh, we need to go to magic and then active effects. Feldu effect, Warcraft Feldu. So I'm not sure, oh yeah, okay, here we go. Fortify intelligence, ability, Feldu euphoria. So it gives us a whole bunch of strengths um, a whole bunch of buffs, basically. But once it runs out, we have to eat it again, or we will start to go through withdrawal, and it would, and it will negatively affect our abilities. So we're going to like try to do this in one go. I don't think it's going to work. And that's cool that the thing opens up only if you've ingested Feldu. All right, so we're going to do this literally as fast as possible. I'm not going to stop to smell the roses. You guys have seen this type of dungeon before. There's going to be various elytra here and there. And we can kill this one right here to get more Feldu. But we're not. We're going to pass it by and see what's, what's the worst Feldu addiction can do. 
And we should get some, like, pop-ups as well. We gotta be careful with floor traps, though, because there will be floor traps that will activate us, or activate and then poison us, which we obviously don't want to happen. Looks like we're heading up here. What is even hitting me? Nothing can be that fast. I'm the fastest entity in this entire universe. Okay, hopefully I'm going the right way. Okay, if we do see stuff like this, though, we do want to loot it, because we'll get Amber. Okay, the effects of Feldew are wearing off. Excuse me! And now, we're going to start to go through withdrawal in a second here. I guess the only way forward is this way. Okay, excuse me. There's all of these things that we are missing, all of these little treasure chests. These little green things here are basically treasure chests. Uh, let's try to go this way. I'm already getting completely turned around. And our magic is, like, completely being drained. I don't know why. Okay, this looks good. Looks like we've got a door coming up on our left here. Hopefully this is not literally the same room we were just in. The effects of Feldu have worn off and withdrawal is setting in. I need to either reach the Chalice of Reversal quickly or find more Feldu as I make, as I make my way through the burrow. What just happened to me? I'm over encumbered. Oh my god, really? Oh my god, okay. Well, that's not good. How how much are we over encumbered by? 265 out of... What? Really? 265 out of 265? Okay. Uh, let's drop... How much crappy arrows do we have? We have two daggers of the dynamo. Both of which are good. Once this runs out, I'll probably... This weighs eight? A dagger weighs eight? Okay, we'll drop this. All right, let's be on our way here. Yeah, we're going to try to quickly find the end. And we'll definitely get some athletics on the way, obviously, as well. Uh, yeah, the effects really start to stack, so we have to be careful here. Okay, we have successfully entered the next leg. Now we need to quickly find... Don't deal falling damage to me, please. Ugh. Why is our magic just not regenerating whatsoever? Hmm. Okay, we have to watch our health very closely. These bugs are really good at getting attacks off on me, so good for them. Well, that's exactly what I needed. Let's utilize some potions here. Elixir of Exploration? Hmm. Uh, let's use... Potion of Healing and a Potion of Sorcery. Okay, that should be good. Now we can restore a bit of health. Looks like we're going over here to the right, but it might be a red herring because there was a path over to the left. Your endurance, willpower, and speed are weakened by Feldu withdrawal. That's fine. I can resist it. We're getting like certain active effects, like painful Feldu withdrawal. Uh, it was. It was indeed a red herring. Okay, as you can see, all of these little tree stumps usually have good things to take. Okay, I think we need to go back. Gosh, get out of my way! I'm not taking your Feldu. All of these little elytra, they just represent peer pressure. That's all they want me to They just want me to fall for, which I'm not going to. I'm not going to. No, I'm going to resist. Do not tell me that we're back where we started. I don't think we are, but we're going to keep going this way. Okay, this looks, this looks good. This looks good. Straight or to the right? Probably the less obvious choice, so probably to the right instead. The effects of Feldu withdrawal are worsening. Really? 259 out of 240? Okay, well, what we can do is equip that Ring of Happiness, which will give us 20, uh, 25 points of Feather. There we go. That'll counteract that a little bit. Jesus. Were we here already? I'm going to go this way. See, it's, it seems like the door is very close. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. So you can see, yeah, it starts to get really, really awful. Please be green instead of red. Nope, still red. Okay, this is not good. Let's utilize some more potions here. Weak potion of sorcery and weak potion of healing. Okay, we're back to normal now. Yeah, slowly but surely, we're just weakening and weakening. And also, the amount that we can carry is dwindling by the minute. Okay, let's go this way. We're also, like, activating every trap and all these elytra are converging on, on our position and all stabbing us at the same time. It's awful, man. This is the quest that I was talking about. Yeah, it must have been. This is the exact location that I must have been talking about. 
Okay. Are we encumbered again? Nope, not encumbered, but we have crippling Feldu withdrawal. Yet another... Okay, it has to be green this time. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so as you can see, this is exactly the, the barrow that I was talking about. Okay, excuse me. We can do a good job of dodging some of these effects, though. Might not be so bad. Uh, probably one more Feldu withdrawal, and we are going to be over encumbered once again. I wonder if we have to drop down here. I'm going to do it just in case. I'm just using my intuition, basically, right now to get me to traverse all of these horrible, horrible lands. Okay, that's good. We've crossed the crevice. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're down to 240. We need to get rid of 17 pounds. Um, I don't know if we have anything that we can really drop. A lot of the stuff that we have is is unique, and that's part of the problem here. Gauntlets of the Pugilist. Hmm. Okay. Blade of Woe, Blade of Freezing. We could drop this, 16 pounds, but then we wouldn't have a bow. <sighs> Should we just drop the steel arrows? How much would that give us? 0. 0.1, so... 10 arrows would be one pound, so that's 16 pounds if we dropped all of these steel arrows. I think we'll find enough. I think we'll find enough arrows that that won't be as bad. We still need to drop a little bit more. Um, we just don't have anything. Nothing weighs anything. We do have this. Yeah, let's just drop all of the alchemy stuff. We're not making use of it anyways. Okay, we've got to be close. We have to be close. I keep telling that to myself. I don't actually know. Okay, let's dodge everybody. Get out of my way! Man, they get like right in the middle and I cannot get over them. Okay. I'm actually starting to worry a little bit. Base ring of the north. Should not take all of this amber and madness ore. That's, that's something that we could drop. Okay, here we go. The door is changed. This has to be. I have survived Dunroot Barrow. Burrow. Now I need to search the tower above for the Chalice of Reversal. Okay. And I still think we're going through Feldu Withdrawal. Um, let's go ahead and switch over to our bow. And get ready here. Because there are some voices and I believe these people are bad. They do not want us to take this. But I could be wrong. This guy's pretty much unarmed, so if he is bad, I don't think he's going to be able to. Feldu Addict. Oh my gosh, if this man kills me. Okay, hold on. Hold the phone. Let's heal a little bit here. Okay, we should be good. Give me your soul. Fortunately, we need some black soul gems to be able to capture their souls. Okay, what do they have? Feldu, obviously. We're going to take one as a uh, keepsake. And maybe to just keep on our person to always remind us where we came from. You know, and to not fall prey to addiction. More Feldu, more cheap wine. Wait, is this a woman? Oh, I was going to say, is she topless? But that's right, I forgot they have um, those little bras... Okay. Nothing here. We can rest and get our level up. Let's go ahead and do that. You have ascended to level 17. Life isn't over. You can still get smarter or cleverer or more experienced or meaner, but your body and soul just aren't going to get any younger. Okay. I could have swore, weren't we closer than 85 and 83? Maybe it's just because we're being drained. If so... That's incredibly stupid. It should not, like, show the drained attribute because then you could try to put points when it's already at 100. I'm not really sure. Anyways, um, let's do endurance. Let's do agility. Let's do speed. Okay. And here we have the Chalice of Reversal. I have the Chalice of Reversal. It should be delivered to Thadon as soon as possible. And that little effect right there was... The chalice reversing our addiction to Feldu, so we no longer are required to drink Feldu. And you can see these these addicts were using it 
to constantly expunge their addiction and the negative effects, I would imagine, uh, just to start over again. I don't think there's really much of anything in here, and I would almost guarantee it's not going to make us run back. Yeah, that would be clearly bad. Very bad. Oh, we have some Knights of Order. Ooh. Not just a Knight of Order, though. We have a Sorcerer of Order. I forget exactly what these guys are called. We're going to shoot an arrow at them from afar. Hell yeah. I believe these guys are the ones that carry the hearts almost always. We can't actually touch the Priest of Order, but we should have a Heart of Order in our inventory, right? Do you want to place a Heart of Order into the Obelisk? Yes, I do. You place a Heart of Order into the Obelisk? Heart of Order is removed? Spawned a dude? Oh, maybe we can't kill this guy until we put a Heart of Order in there? I suppose so. Where did you go? Okay, I'm gonna need you to, like, hold off on running, please. Huh. Why can't we loot him? I forget why. What do we need to do? Maybe we need to place more Hearts of Order. Um, let's loot this guy as well. You place a second Heart of Order into the Obelisk. And it's spawning more people. And I think that priest over there is going to get revived in a second. I forgot exactly how this works. Okay, this guy has yet another Heart of Order. You place a third Heart of Order into the Obelisk, and it's still spawning. I guess we'll go up to... Oh, there we go. Okay. So it looks like three Hearts of Order. And then the Obelisk is destroyed, and I believe we can search it. Yeah, the Obelisk has been deactivated, and we get like a random little bit of treasure, usually. Now, is the Priest dead? What are you doing, buddy? Do you, though? What? He restored it? What just happened? I have no idea. But anyways, we're going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm going to do some research on the Hearts of Order and all of this to see what exactly is going on here. I'm not sure if the priest resurrected the... The obelisk or something? I, I don't know exactly what happened, but I'll figure it out. Either way, thank you for watching. In the next episode, we will return to Thedon with the Chalice of Reversal, and I'll see you guys there. Bye-bye.